delete the call drop or delete the column then change the data type and change the constraint this five operation we can do with the alter what are adding the column deleting the column renaming the column change the data type and change the constraint this five operation make sure that you guys are known about that okay so everyone know about the truncate and drop correct okay the truncate truncate is used for okay tell me in yes or no i am asking one question over here with the help of truncate can i delete whole the table structure along with records yes or no take rajnandini Correct. Can truncated data will be recovered? Can truncated data will be recovered? Abhishek, yes, check it. We cannot record the truncated data. Is there any address for the drop table? is there address for the drop table is there any address for the drop table yes or no if i am dropping the table i'm not talking about the flashback man sagar yes or no is there any address for the drop table everish you don't know about the truncate okay i will explain Hey, okay. you are telling me I can perform over here on my scale. My system is already in a dead mode. <laughs> If I am use, using SQL over here, it going to be blast. Okay, so I am explaining about the as my research. I am explaining about the truncate. Okay, so truncate means what? There, there is a table. Every table is having a table structure, and that record, record means the row. So what happened with the truncate? If I am using the truncate, the records or rows will be deleted, and the table structure remains constant. So that is nothing but the truncate. The truncate, truncate is used to delete the records without affecting table structure. Correct? Truncate is used to delete the records without affecting table structure. So there is a syntax for the truncate. Truncate का syntax क्या है? Truncate table table name. So truncate and data cannot be recovered and drop. In the sense of drop, drop क्या करता है? It will be delayed the truncated data along with the table structure. It will delay the truncated data along with the table structure. That uh, that drop data can be recovered. That drop data can be recovered. Why it is recovered? Because that drop table it is getting stored in something called it as bin folder. It is getting stored in something called it as bin folder. Suppose you guys can perform one thing. Yes, recycle bin it is, but we call it as our bin folder. Please, like, okay, okay. I will give you some set of queries to solve in this group also. That set of queries is based on something. It's I will provide some set of queries that is based on the operator itself because uh, most of the times they are going to give a query based on the operator itself. Operators like special operator and all the things like they are telling uh, show the employee. Okay, write a query to display name of the employee. Uh, the name is start with A and ending with S. Yes. All kind of query they are going to be asked means they are giving a uh, queries. So which operator you can you guys can use? So which operator can you use? Suppose I'm having options like in operator, is operator, like operator, or between operator. Which operator use? Can you tell me? Correct, like operator. Okay, so like this only. So prepare on the operator. So can you guys give me the list for the operators?
ओके लाइक एंड और लाइक इज विच काइंड ऑफ ऑपरेटर चेक प्रशांत इट इज अ स्पेशल ऑपरेटर करेक्ट इट इज अ स्पेशल ऑपरेटर सो माय नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज लाइक दैट गिव मी द आंसर वेरी फास्ट गिव मी द आंसर वेरी फास्ट ओके सो माय क्वेश्चन इज दैट विच स्पेशल ऑपरेटर is used to deal with the null values okay nikhil check id is nvl i think answer should be three operators are there from my end three operators are there which are the operators those are used to deal with the null values is is not nvl correct saurabh is is not nvl not null it is a constraint is null is there any kind of is null take not null it is a constraint we are not talking about the constraint over yet okay So that's it. Uh, okay, that's for the special operator. Make sure that you guys can have some basic, basic idea on the operators also. So now we are going to discuss it on the data types. Now we are going to discuss it on the data types. So did you guys? Okay, uh, you guys need to be mainly focus on these two kind of statements, which are those DDL and DML. DDL and DML. You guys need to be focus on these two statements more because there will be a means question they are going to. There are the most questions they are going to ask you in these two kind of statements, DDL and DML. And don't worry about the TCL, DCL and DQL. Okay. So DQL means what? We are performing some set of queries to retrieve the data from the table or database. So we are going to retrieve the data with the help of DQL commands. So everyone know the syntaxes for the joins. Join case syntax, what I? Okay, I will give you one assignment today itself. I will give you one assignment. Assignment is like that. You guys need to write down all the syntax. Write down all the syntax. All syntax of SQL. Okay, I will provide you some syntax for the joins also in the group. But those you guys means those the syntax you guys are done with, you need to write it down. Why? Because it will be a practice for you. How many syntax are there? Hardly twenty or twenty-five syntax are there. Nothing more than fifty, or nothing more than thirty syntax. Why? it will be a practice for you also because most of the question there will be a syntax correct so they are going to ask you in a syntax and why do you guys are referring the syntax just read about uh, that syntax kya hai uska nature of execution and all the things so if i am getting any kind of files regarding to the sql <coughs> regarding to the uh, sql msq and i will be going to share with you in your group itself okay i am going to share it you in a group itself so make sure that you guys need to be prepared on that okay so here we are we are <coughs> here in discussing about something called it as data type and constraint so everyone know the data types perfectly yes or no Only select two people are talking over here. Others, what happened with you? 
Okay. So Sartha Kambayar, can you unmute yourself and talk something about the data type? What do you know about the data type? What do you know about the data type? Type are the different types of value. Different types of value. Is it correct? Like uh, care, where care, dead data type. Dead data type. Okay. The maximum size for the where care group. One, two, three. Two thousand characters. Your friends are. Your friends are helping you. I know. It is a toy shop where care. Who is that, Rahul? Take it. It is a toy shop where care. Take everyone. The size will be four thousand. Size will be four. The maximum size for the character large object. The maximum size for character large object. Take Nikhil. Right. Okay, what is scale? What is scale? Did you guys know why we use scale in number data type? Why we use scale in number data type? For the decimal, that scale is mandatory or not mandatory? Not mandatory. Correct. Optional. Scale is optional. Okay. Suppose in my table, I don't have any primary key. At that time, what I need to do? In my table, there is no any primary key. That time, what I need to do? Which column I need to take? No idea. Wait. Yeah. Row ID. Row ID and row num means what? Tell me. Row ID and row num means what? Both are the pseudo column. What are the pseudo columns? So we are going to take the help of row ID if there is no any primary key and for it is present. Okay. So primary key is a combination of what? Primary key is a combination of what? Unique and not. Is a key attribute. I know what I said. It is a combination of what? Okay. Primary key is mandatory or not mandatory? Why it is not mandatory? Because constraints are not okay. You can take it. Because constraints are not mandatory and primary key is one of the constraint. Primary key is one of the constraint. It is recommended as per the company conventions. Correct. It is recommended as per the company conventions. Okay. It is recommended as per the company conventions. What is non Prime attribute. What is non prime attribute? What is non prime attribute? Well, Jake, you guys are gone through the attributes, yes or no? Did you guys having a knowledge on attributes? How many attributes are there? Super key attributes. 
composite attributes you guys are done with the attributes yes or no okay so i will share you one pdf of the attributes with you go through that pdf what are the attributes so go through that once okay we'll see i'm not taking you all too much time you guys are prepared so if i'm having any link for the sql uh, like uh, questions i will share with you and solve the question based on that and the assignment which assignment write down all the things look over that correct you guys need to be look over that everyone write down the character to take some points of normalization okay normalization okay normalization is used to divide the larger table into the smaller table basically why we use normalization it is used to divide the decomposing it is used to i am using which word i am using decomposing normalization is used to decomposing a larger table into the smaller table in order to remove the redundancy and anomalies in order to remove the redundancies and anomalies by identifying their functional dependencies by identifying their functional dependency so this process we call it as normalization this process we call it as normalization so there are four forms of the normalization first nm second nm third nm and this nm means first code <coughs> normal form second normal form first normal form and third normal form the first normal form mein kya hota hai there should be no repetitive data or no redundancy and cell should be single evaluated these are the rules for the first nm second nm ke rule kya hai table should be in a first nm and there should not be a partial functional dependency there should not be a partial functional dependency and third means a third third normal form kya hai third normal form mein kya hota hai if you guys are achieving third normal form that means you guys can achieve your normalization perfectly as as i say if you guys are having a third normal form means you guys are achieving the normalization the third normal no okay already present in the second normal form and there should not be any transaction okay correct shridhar there should not be any transaction functional dependency so like that so you should be like they are asking what are the normal uh, normalization forms so normalization form they are saying you so choose any one of them like the there should be anything still with it so you need to be look for that so first nm second nm third nm and Uh, bcn so these are the normal form okay so if check uh, i'm researching something if i got anything so we'll conduct the grooming based on the mcq questions tomorrow also so likewise i'm update you in a group itself if if it is if i am having some research or i'm getting some question based mcq type of question based on the sql so we'll going to conduct it tomorrow again for me what we need to do just we are scrolling over the questions and selecting the answer correct so be here tomorrow also if i am able to find out so i will inform you in a group itself okay so you guys can leave the session okay that's it for today and look over the syntaxes also i i will make sure that what kind of written test will be there having so likewise that i am going to means uh, i will tell you okay so we'll see okay bye everyone